What's going on guys? So this is the Wolf Spider Baby Update. Whoa, 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 hold up. We can't forget about that 1K giveaway. So to win some sweet merch like this, all you need to do is comment down below and then I'll make a list of all the comments and in my next video, I'm gonna use the app to randomly select a subscriber from that list and whoever the app selects. So in this app, I've put together all the subscribers that have commented on my 1K video. Now if we go back, put on some cool music. Now um, this will randomly select a winner. So here we go. TK. Hey everybody. Wait, oh, yeah, this is why am I like down? Man, so all this merch coming straight to you. Now back to the episode. Oh, oh, look how big that wolf spider is. Yeah, but that's oh. a, that's big for a wolf spider. So it was Halloween last year when I first met this beautiful female wolf spider. She's definitely got to be the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. Her abdomen was massive, probably like twice the normal size of any other wolf spider I've come across. I mean, have a look at that booty. After a few weeks of walking around like that, I noticed she had made this cool leg sack. And what happens with the wolf spiders is they produce a tiny sack, which looks like a white paper ball and they carry it around for weeks until the eggs inside hatch. It's wicked cool. So it's underneath her abdomen, attached with specifically designed silk to their spinnerets, and they will even fight to the death to protect it if it ever gets detached from their body. They display such a high level of care and dedication to their babies, it's really just amazing to watch. 25 days later, the babies were born, and what's really so lovely to see is how the little brothers and sisters stick together. I love how they pile up on their mother's back, just like a little mound. And it was only a few days later, I think it was like four days before they started doing their own thing. So they slowly, one by one, started climbing off their abdomen and just walking around. It was fun capturing how they all stumbled around, checking out the world and trying to escape the enclosure. After doing all my research, I learn about the wolf spider process of migration. It's how the new spiderlings leave their mother and find a new home. It's one of the coolest things in a spider's life, so I took the enclosure downstairs to see how they would go on their own. So just like how Spider-Man flies through the air, this is what they do. They shoot out this really fine web called a tendril, and it's almost invisible, and they shoot it into the air so the wind catches it, and it's so strong, it's like a parachute, and it picks them up and literally flies them off to a different location. This process of migration is called ballooning, or airborne dispersal. It's insane. And I'm just so proud to see all of the little babies, you know, find their new journey. It's been a while since she's had a feed, so she's gotta be hungry. So I thought I'd try a tongue feed for you guys. I know you really like that. Oh, nice. Well, I'll leave you with some footage here of the big mama wolf spider eating her dinner. 
thanks so much for watching guys.